So one in four Coloradans has downloaded that exposure notification app for contact tracing. I have it on my phone. More than a million Coloradans have signed up for this. Based on that number, the state is offering a number in terms of how many positive cases it thinks might have been prevented. Marshall Zellinger is in the business of questioning numbers that people, especially the government, puts out there. Marshall, they think that this app, million people signed up, has prevented 168,000 cases. How'd they get there? It's a statistic that had me wondering as well. In a recent presentation to the state legislature, Kyle, uh, the top COVID-19 response leaders updated the status of Colorado's exposure notifications app. It's the app that if both my phone and your phone have it and we're near each other long enough, they swap anonymous tokens. And if one of us tests positive for COVID-19 and tells the app about our positive tests, it will alert the last two weeks worth of tokens and this phone will get an alert that someone you were around long enough in the last two weeks just tested positive for COVID-19. Now that you know how it works, the state's COVID-19 leaders say 1.4 million have downloaded the app through last week. That's almost one quarter of the state's population. But when you test positive, the state gives you a code to put into the app to then alert the other phones. That's happened 12,800 times. Right now, that's the extent of the data the state has. It does not know how many other phones were alerted based on those 12,800 notifications. But the state believes the app itself has prevented 168,000 positive COVID-19 cases because a study from the University of Arizona says an app like this can prevent 12% of cases. And that's 12% of the people who have downloaded the app. But here is the asterisk. It depends on the degree to which notified contacts self-quarantine as directed, seek testing, or at least modify their behaviors to reduce onward transmission. Well, how does the state know that's happening? We see, based upon the testing numbers we have in Colorado, our present positivity, the feedback we get from our case investigation and contact tracing calls, that Coloradans are doing an exceptional job of all of those pieces. We don't have any evidence to suggest that people who enable the service and then use it to notify other people that those other people aren't taking the, the most rigorous precautions. There's a piece of the data that the state does not have access to all and hopes that's changing soon. That's how many people are notified when someone uploads a positive test. As I said, the state knows 12,000 people have uploaded a positive test to the app. The state doesn't know or have access yet to the data of how many people got alerted as a result of those 12,000, Kyle. Marshall, I know that we and others were skeptical when this first rolled out, but when you really get into the guts of the thing, it's not going to alert Jared Polis that you're drinking inside in the brewery so he can pop his head in. The way they do these tokens, it really does kind of put, put a veil of separation there. And it requires the user to do something. So when the state notifies you about your positive test, they give you this, this code. You have to go into the app and do it yourself. Otherwise, it's useless. You may have it on your phone, but if you don't utilize it with, when you have a positive test, the other people who you've been around will never find out. So it still has some user error to it if you don't follow through yourself. Yeah, user error slash personal responsibility. Marshall Zellinger, who also received the sweater memo. Thank you, sir.